Hi, this is Eugene Lee Show from AI2 3D Forensic Animations, and today I'd like to speak to you a little bit about photogrammetry. Now, what photogrammetry is is really just the science of taking measurements from photographs. And what I'd like to do is just walk you through a couple of examples of how it could be used. Now, photogrammetry isn't a really well-known science, I would say. If you try to imagine all the photos that are taken each day at crime scenes, you know, video that's taken from surveillance cameras, accident photos, you know, for vehicles, that sort of thing. Everybody knows that photos are very practical, but if you could take and preserve geometric data in those photos, well, you know, three, four, six, seven months down the line, it's easy to go back to and extract that information instead of saying, we should have measured this or we should have had that information. So I think photogrammetry is an absolutely excellent tool. Now, there is some methodology required in taking the photographs, but oftentimes the photos that are available might be good enough to take some accurate dimensions from. So let's take a look at a couple of examples of how we can use photogrammetry. Now what I have in front of me here is a couple of photos of a vehicle that was damaged. You might be able to see that I've marked it with a number of points and and basically what you do with photogrammetry if you can um, and if you have several photos of the same object of interest well you try to reference a number of points back and forth between them but uh, anyway this isn't a lesson on photogrammetry this is about how you, we can use it so what I've done is actually you know built a number of points up here in 3D space and this is great because I can actually take dimensions between points uh, measurements between points I can take known 3D coordinates for each of these as well and um, you know use this for crush measurements and calculations for uh, you know vehicle damage so it's a very useful tool for accident reconstructionists now the other thing that we can do which would be great for visualization is you know here I have a photo of just a regular uh, vehicle with a fender here and what I what I've done is built up this fender here as a surface and I've marked a whole bunch of points on it again so you can actually even show somebody I'm showing you vehicles, but this could be a crime scene. You could build up a whole crime scene and, and mark points on specific pieces of evidence. It, it really has all kinds of interesting uses. For vehicles especially, just because vehicle accidents are so common, it's a very, very useful tool. Now let's take a look at another example of how we can use photogrammetry. Here I have a photograph that was taken with a film camera. You can see that a portion here was, uh, there was a problem, was overexposed. And this is the area where there was a vehicle accident. And you can see it that there's a mark here. And, uh, there, there's another mark here. It may be difficult to see just because of the size and the way I'm recording this. But nonetheless, this was one of the only photographs that was taken of this area that had these marks visible. Now, like most cases, what tends to happen is after three, four years, and unfortunately a, a somewhat of a slow legal system, all evidence tends to disappear eventually on the road. So any skid marks or other scrape marks tend not to be visible anymore. So when you have only one photograph that shows up uh, years later, uh, it's, uh, it's very useful to be able to take measurements from the photograph. So that's in fact what happened in this case. The technique that was used uh, using photogrammetry was called rectification and what rectification does is pretty much just take out the perspective of the photograph so as the road narrows down here and down this way so that the road is much smaller here across than it is over here it makes it the same so it'll stretch this out to be about the same size as this area here and what that looks like is something like this obviously the road would have been much much longer I'm only showing you a small portion here of the image, but you can see that the mark here and the mark here are visible, and all the perspective is removed. So if you have a reference dimension uh, for the road width, you can now go in and take direct measurements off of this particular photograph. So it's a very, very useful tool for accident reconstruction, for crime scenes, for a number of different ap applications and uh, hopefully uh, as people become aware of it they'll be using it more and more. Now if you are interested in further information on photogrammetry and uh, what it can do for you all you need to do is just go to www.ai2-3d.com go over to our forum and register and uh, you'll find some interesting information articles and other links on photogrammetry.